is going on guys my name is X super lobbies and today in this video guys I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to unban your IP address from Sony servers this is currently happening on January 8th of 2017 let's go ahead and try to sign in we'll get an 8071016 code if you look it up online it will say the PlayStation servers are unavailable but if you try to go to Sony's website on your computer, you'll also get that error code. This means you have been IP banned from Sony servers. Not permanently, probably like a week to four weeks, depending on what you did. This mainly happens for my newer games like Black Ops 3 and Grand Theft Auto 5. So, I'm going to teach you guys how to fix this error code. So let's head over to our computer and I'll show you guys what to do from there. So once we are on the computer, go to the description of this video and click the two download links provided. One will take you to this website and one will take you to this. Both these programs are completely free. So let's go ahead and download both of these. So once these programs are done downloading, go ahead and install them. You shouldn't need any sign-in information or anything of that sort. These programs are completely free to use to the public and they're open servers so multiple people will be using the same VPN but it's secure and there's no log stored. So after they've downloaded, go ahead and install these. Once you guys have installed these programs, you're going to have to restart your PC. Today I the tutorial, I already have these programs installed. So, first of all, let's go ahead and activate our VPN. Open up CyberGhost, click on Surf Anonymously, start anonymous surfing, and connect. So, you guys are going to get this if you don't have the paid version of CyberGhost. Basically what this is, is you're basically waiting the line. Obviously this line is longer as fuck, it's like as long as the DMV lines. So, give this a minute, I'll come to you when I'm first in line. Alright guys, so, we're pretty close in line, these numbers do go by very fastly, so here we go. After that it will kick you, and then here you go. And so, this is already another VPN IP, because I have two VPNs enabled, but it will show your computer's IP address, the one that's on your computer right now, so this is my current IP address, and it's connecting to the VPN service. This takes like 30 seconds to a minute to connect since it's a very good connection. But in the meantime, here we go. Surfing Osprey has been activated. So, once you guys have seen this, you're currently protected. That's good. Minimize side windows. Go down here to your network settings. Open network and sharing. Change adapter settings. And you should see this. Tap Windows Adapter V9. Remember that. So, let's make sure this is active. And after you have downloaded Connectify, make sure this box is checked right here. So, open up Connectify. Here's what I want to click on here, Internet to Share. And you'll see this is my real Wi-Fi, and then this is my VPN. So, if you guys saw that, it says, tap Windows adapter v9 perfect so looks out of that and now you guys can see you have the hotspot name you guys can't rename that only if you buy it but we can make a password for a Wi-Fi network I'm gonna name mine X super L O L 99 all right X super L O L 99 go ahead and click start hotspot Wait till it says it's running. Okay. Once this has happened, let's go back onto our PS3. Okay, guys. Now once we're back on our PS3, scroll over to settings, network settings, internet connection settings, hit custom, wireless, and scan. You should see connectify slash me. Click on that. And right here will be the password we just made. Final is X. Super 
L O L ninety nine. So let's go through the first settings by default. Enable it and do not test the connection. Hit DAC and go ahead and try to sign in. Now, if we've done this correctly, we should see that we should sign in rather in a good amount of time. But it gets the job done to bypass the IP bin. So here we go. Just signed in and I have no more error. So a couple downsides about this. Um, you guys can do well here's a couple upsides first. You can mod any game you want, and if you do get console banned again, I mean IP ban, it will sign you out. Just disconnect Cyber Ghost. And then start it back up again and get a new IP address and then just sign back in. So if you guys can see here. Uh, there we go. It's just, there's your IP address for CC API users. Uh, basically that's what you can only use on this. It's a wireless VPN. So that's rather simple. But sign it again just to show you guys that there is no error. There you go. Load your friends and everything just simply. So, I hope this tutorial did help you. If it did, please leave a like down below and comments uh, if you have any questions. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace out.